Hi, welcome to another Game Boys or Awesome video, guys. Today's video, guys, you can see it's a trade and sell video. Uh, mainly sell because I want to get rid of some of this stuff that I don't need, and some of it's mostly doubles. So I could probably get some money to buy something that I mainly really want, or something like that, or go towards uh, Blackpool. Not Blackpool, Manchester, sorry, fuck's sake. Ugh. You're getting confused from um, them two now. Um, so yeah, going, I'm going Manchester, which is good. And. Um, I did buy another new mic um, a couple of days ago, which I'm using here. As you can probably see, it sounds loads better. Um, got it connected here because I was used, last time I was using my, you know, gaming headset, like top of a headset, and I put it down here, so you couldn't really hear me that well. So I thought I wanted to get myself a better microphone, and I can just clip it here, and uh, it doesn't look like I've got massive headphones on all the time, just doing pickup videos and stuff. So. I bought myself something as well. They, they they cost about 20 quid or something, which I thought wasn't bad. They got some good reviews on them as well. And this next thing I've got is a charger for my uh, GoPro for car boots. Because my car boot, when I go car boot, my GoPro has got a really bad battery. It doesn't really last very long. And car boots can take quite a few hours, can take over an hour or, or longer. Depends how big the car boot is. So I wanted to get an external charger, which is this. And I bought this for £16.99, I think it was. And they got a good review on YouTube. So I thought I'd get one of them to use that for my GoPro. And then I could use it on my iPhone and stuff like that. Anything what's mainly got um, a USB and charges like mainly iPhones and stuff like that. Or any phone really. Which is quite good. So I thought I'd pick one of those up to solve the problem. And it, it works good. So... I'm going to test it out this weekend. Hopefully the weather holds in for the weekend and we're going to have a good car boot session again. Uh, let's wait. I can't wait to see what happens. So the first thing I've got here, guys, up for sale is um, Super Mario Land box. A uh, bit tatty. No insert in here. No manual. But it has got the game, but the game isn't actually in the box at the moment. Uh, it's down there. So I can't really get to it now because I'm wired up now. But um, it hasn't got a game in there. But yeah, the next one I got, right, actually I need to do some box from it now, so as you can see, the box is very, very uh, tatty, not very, uh, not amazing. I don't know if it's fake or not, because it's very shiny. I swear my other one I've got isn't that shiny, as you can, as you can see, look, so I don't know if it's fake or not, I don't know if they made fake ones back then, but um, next one I got is... Donkey Kong Land, as you can see, looks good. It's not in the best condition, but it's a box game if you want to need any of it. It's got the game with it, it's got manual, no insert in this one, guys. Um, as you can see, it's got the cartridge, which looks like that. So, it's not in amazing condition, but it's still the game. I showed you, and again, as you can see, it's quite creased but um yeah so that's that one guys i'll try and get through this quite quick because i don't want to be too long making this video i've got a couple of um super nintendo boxes anyone interested in these i did have the games for these but i ended up trading them with kevin because i don't really really going to play his games he didn't really want the boxes so i thought you know i might as well grab them set them on or something this one's not got the tray but that is this one um aladdin or maybe I may get, if anyone's desperate for this game and want to trade with it, I can give you a tray out of one of these other ones. But there's a tray in that, guys. Or well, not in this one, there's no tray in this one. But I'll give you a bit of box porn on it. As you, as Daz corns to lower or whatever. Um, it's not too bad, it's creased and that. But for the age, I think it's not bad condition, really. Um, next one I got is, um, as you can see there, not bad condition for Jurassic Park, and uh, it's not you know I, I, I still have these really nice, not bad condition really. So you know for how old they are, and they've held held in quite well. And this one's got cut um, the insert, so if anyone's interested in that, let me know. Next one, I never had the game for this one. Um, I got this in a bundle with them two. Um, when that is this. So if anyone wants Bomberman 2 box, just box only. It's got an uh, insert in there as well. If anyone's interested. It's a bit, um, as you can see here, but um, not bad. 
if anyone's interested in this one let me know next up we've got guys is we've got some PS1 stuff I'm going to get through now um, we've got Shadow Man um, all complete with manual disc on these are good so they're not like to scratch the hell they do work so trust me for that uh, next one I've got I've got some loose ones here um, which are just over here let me show you those loose ones so I've got um, Spyro the Year of the Dragon for grabs Crash Bandicoot 2 for grabs with the manual uh, there for grabs guys um, Spyro the Year of the Dragon with the case uh, no um, no insert in this one, it's missing the insert, it's got manual and the game so it's got a crack there um, the case isn't in the greatest but it's still a game I've got, next one I've got is Crash Bandicoot which the case is a bit knackered but you know Crash Bandicoot as you can see the case is a bit coming off but it's got inlay the manual which is in really nice condition and it's got the game in there as well. The game is really good condition as well. Trust me for that. And that's that for that. I think. Uh, there we go. One more. One more. PlayStation 1. I need to show you. Get over there. So I don't. And I've got a. Uh, um, Crash Bandicoot 2 again. But this is in case with. Um, manual. And the disc. So. If anyone's interested for these. Let me know. I got them up for grabs, guys. Um, oh yeah, I got one more. Sorry, and I got Croc as well. No inlay for this one, but it's got manual and the disc, which is good. So, the case in this one isn't too bad. Um, it's not got any cracks in it at all, actually, which is quite good. So this one's alright. Um, next one I got is a sealed one up for grabs as well, which is play Tony Hawk's t uh, Tony Hawk's, I mean, pro skater or Tony Hawk's skateboarding. Before the pro skater got added into it, so as you can see, it's got some cracks here and one up here. If you can see that there, um, it's got a really bad crack across here, but it is still sealed, which is awesome. It's got a little bit there, but it is still sealed. So let me know if any of you guys want any of this stuff. Uh, just put a comment and give me an offer, or PM me on my Facebook page, which is um, which is um, Game Boys are awesome. I don't really want anyone um, commenting or trying to add me on my social, my main Facebook. I don't mind some people on there, but if I don't, if it's someone I don't really know on my YouTube which wants to add me and um, talk to me on my, you know, personal Facebook, I don't really want that really. So um, check out my Facebook page just for Game Boys are awesome. Check out that and you can contact me on there. Um, what else have I got? I've got a. Um, game two game here up for grabs, which is Mario Kart Double Dash. Um, disc a disc only really, no manual in there. Well, not disc only, but missing manual. It's got the warning guide, whatever it is. But that's up for grabs. I'll show you the disc in this as well, just in case you need guys. It does work, just you know, scratch and hell, you know. But yeah. Next up, it's gonna get through this quick, guys. So it's not a boring long video. Um, Got an N64 game here, which is here, N64, and this is in German, I think. It's not the PAL version, as you can probably see. It does work in the PAL. Let's try and get some focus for you. Come on. There we go. As you can see, it's not the PAL version, but it does um, work, and but I can't play it because I don't know what I don't understand what's going on. So that's up for grabs. Um, I've got some loose games here. I've got, uh, what, was it Warrior Land? Up for grabs. Uh, Mo Super Mario Bros. 2, or Super Mario, Mario Land 2, sorry. Up for grabs. Pokemon Yellow, up for, up for grabs. DS game, uh, New Super Mario Bros. Um, a case only for Mario, um, Mario Kart DS. So that's up for grabs. Um, K 
case and the game what's inside it up for grabs. Um, I did buy this. I really wanted this game so badly. And then I found out that it had the wrong game in it this week or last week when I went to go use it. And that was this. Um, it's got no game in there. It's got the wrong game, as you can see, a Dex. So the Dex is up for trade as well, or up for grabs or sell. So, yeah, if anyone wants that, let me know. So, what else have we got? Is that it, guys? No. Got some other stuff here, which is some Mega Drive games. Got Worms. No manual. Uh, World of Illusion, starring Mickey Mouse and Donald Duck. No manual. Um, Sonic um, 2. No manual. Um, Sonic 1. No manual. So they're up for grabs if anyone wants those. Or I can do a bundle with you with a system. So I'll show you the system. I've got a Master System 2. Or Mega Drive 2, sorry. Um, up for grabs. Not in bad condition. Uh, I've cleaned up and I've got some speckles of paint in it which I've tried to get off and they do come off it's just really hard you've got to scrub them off but that's up for grabs it does work comes with two controllers as you can see so I've frayed a bit here like gone a bit weird there you can see but they still work and it comes with the power pack and everything like that as you can see here so Last but not least, I've got a Super Nintendo, no wires, nothing like that, just a Super Nintendo. If anyone's up for it, wanting it, here you go. It's got cracks there. Um, I just don't need it. I don't know what, I do, what else to do with it. So anyone really needs it to swap out a broken Super Nintendo and to put this one in it. And then you've got a press case on it then. So maybe if anyone's like that, anyone wants it, let me know and I can get rid of it because I don't need it. It's just taking up room. So yeah. That's it for them. And then last but not least, guys, I think this is actually definitely last but not least. I've got some Game Boy game Game Boys here. So I've got a um, green Game Boy. And this one is modded with a front lit screen. So if anyone wants one of these, this, let me know. I'm not sure of the price or how much I want for it, but I did mod this myself. My first ever Game Boy mod. If you check out my Instagram, which is Kieran Cox on the Instagram. Uh, you'll see me actually some pictures of me starting to make do this mod and that is here guys so you can see it's got a, a front lit screen from the SP and it works great so anyone wants that let me know and then another one I've got here is a Game Boy Color green with no mod on it and that's up for grabs and then last but not least guys this next one is something that um, I've got in a Bundle of, t of three Game Boys, and uh, this is an SP, and it's a 101 version. And um, the wireless is faulty, and this one works fine. There's only one little problem with this one is that you sometimes you have to blow actually into this the console itself to get the game to work. So if I um, show it now, and it's not in the greatest condition, I'm not really sure if how much I want for this. A lot of people want these, and uh, yeah. So this is the 101 SP that I think I might as well get rid of. I don't use it. The the very um, highly wanted, like a lot of people want these. But as you can see, the condition of this is terrible. I was thinking of maybe getting a new case for it and um, setting it on and probably make a bit of money. But if any of you guys really want this, I could probably do a trade, a nice good trade with you guys. Um, because I do, have a, I do have a third one of these, another one, which um, that one didn't charge. And the other one I used is I don't know if you guys follow people who followed me for a while would have seen I did a a case change to the, to this one so I got the game Mario edition one with the 101 inside it which is awesome so I love this Game Boy to bits my favorite Game Boy out of a whole set I've got now so um, that's the main reason I wanted these 101s to do that so now I've got um, this spare one which doesn't really get used there's no point I'm just keeping it so yeah, uh, I tested. I showed how it works. So I put the game in. Sometimes I'll show you what I mean. I put the game in, and it might work straight away. I don't know. So let's have a look. Yeah, it works straight away. Sometimes it um, doesn't read the game properly. So sometimes you have to blow in there to get it to work. It's not always the cartridge having a problem. It's sometimes actually the cartridge reader. So yeah, 
they may need a clean with someone open it up and give it a good clean with something but um yeah overall that's up for grabs as well so let me know if any of you guys want this hit me up a comment or inbox me or hit me up on my facebook page which the game boys are awesome i'll put a link in the description so you guys can uh, check it out and follow it and maybe want if you want any of your stuff so yeah that's 15 minutes a little bit less i did do a video a minute ago and it was like over 20 minutes so i thought i'll do it a bit quicker and hopefully i didn't miss anything out so yeah thanks for watching this video guys hope you enjoyed and i'll see you in my next one guys thanks a lot but yeah please comment me or send me an inbox or whatever if you need any of that stuff and um, give me an offer and stuff what you want uh i'm not going to go really cheap um on some of this stuff because you know i'm not you know i want i need some money so yeah it's not going to be like i'm going to get some bargains it probably i'll probably do a nice good deal with you but I'm not going to like rip you off or anything like that i just want to get some money really ebay is a bastard for saying stuff so i'd rather sell it to you guys than sell it on ebay and lose a bit of money because to take the fees off you and the postage is quite expensive as well but i don't mind doing it to you guys because you're fellow collectors like me and i don't mind helping you guys out so if any of you guys really need some of this stuff and really wouldn't mind having some of it let me know and i'll be really happy to do a deal with you in a trade so thanks a lot guys and i'll see you later bye